Many Republicans and uh, other people have criticized um, President Obama's Recovery Act of 2009 um, for, as a failure. Uh, they point to the very slow recovery we, we have had since the Great Recession of, of 2007, 2008. Now, in response, the um, Council of Economic Advisors of President Obama has just released uh, a study of the effects of, of the Recovery Act. According to this study, um, the Recovery Act was actually a, an amazing success. It um, increased jobs by six million. It raised the level of, of the GDP or total income in the economy by two to three percent since it was implemented in 2009. Now, well, what it actually did, I mean, if you look at the slow recovery, you say, well, where are these new jobs? There are some jobs being increased. Well, the economists who wrote this report um, talk about counterfactuals. That is to say, what they're saying is that, well, without that Recovery Act, we would have had six million fewer jobs created, and we would have had two to three percent less total income in the economy. But how can they prove this? Well, they use something called the multiplier. Now, this is a bit of Keynesian magic um, in which one dollar of government spending is supposedly uh, the, or supposedly has the ability to create um, more than a dollar of total income in the economy. Uh, that's because if the government spends a dollar, the people who receive that money are going to save some of it, but they'll spend more of it. So in the next round, there's more of the money spent. And those people who receive the new income will in turn spend some of that on other goods and services. So the, it, the, the money goes round and round throughout the economy and it raises income. Now they've estimated that for every dollar spent during the, uh, or uh, as a result of the Recovery Act, one dollar and fifty cents of more income, uh, of additional income was created. So they say, well, the multiplier is 1.5. But now how can that be, really? Um, because all the Recovery Act did was take money from some people and give it to others. So it, 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 it took money from taxpayers and, and it gave it to um, uh, construction unions who were, who were in, involved in government um, investment in infrastructure. Or it gave it to teachers. Um, or it gave it to inefficient solar panel companies that later went out of business. But no matter, according to the Keynesians and according to the authors of the CEA report, this increased income. Now what they don't tell you, and, and what's buried in the appendix, is that in fact, this effect of having a greater um, amount of income created by each dollar of spending comes about as a result of the fact that there's been inflation. That is to say that in fact, th this additional government spending was really financed by an increase in the money supply. And this has a short run effect of possibly creating more jobs and, and, and creating new income. But in the long run, and many economists have studied this, ultimately what happens is that the, the government multiplier actually m may very well be negative, um, which is to say that for every dollar of, of, of government spending, you might actually get two to three dollars reduction in uh, income in the economy. And that's because as a result of, of the inflation, you have distortions in the economy and goods, and labor and so on are invested in the wrong lines of production and eventually you have another recession. So what we can say in response to the CEA report is that um, this uh, idea that the Recovery Act created income is as substantial as the idea that simply printing up a dollar will create new wealth.